Peace family. Lions Den here with another news and commentary. Um, this 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 article is according to WSV in, in Miami. A woman allegedly kicked off by off-duty officer while pregnant is speaking out. A South Florida mother who went into early labor after she was allegedly kicked in the stomach by an off-duty North Miami Beach police officer is sharing her account of the incident that cost the cop her job. Seven news cameras captured Ebony Murray as she held her newborn son, Joseph, Monday afternoon. Six pounds, four ounces, she says, sharing the baby birth weight. The new mother says she felt relieved that the terrible situation she and her boyfriend, Joseph Predilis, went through in, a, in Miami Beach last week led to the happy outcome. I'm grateful because he's a blessing, she said. I'm grateful because he's okay. Murray was eight months pregnant when police said North Miami Beach police officers Embar Pacheco kicked her in the stomach during an altercation in South Beach. Pacheco was arrested and has since been terminated from her department. Anything could have happened, said Murray. Murray said she and Predic Predigulous were walking along Washington Avenue on Wednesday when they crossed paths with Pacheco. Just look at him. What if What if I didn't have him, said Murray. Then what? The situation would have been different. What's next is not clear, but Murray was left in pain and Pacheco was taken into custody. That's why I'm trying to wait for Miami Beach Police Department to figure out figure it out for me. I wish I was mind wish I was a mind reader, but I'm not. Murray started to go into labor weeks before her due date on August fourth. A prematurely delivered jo Joseph. The pain was really it was sh the pain was really it was shock. Said she said I really didn't have no understanding of anything. I just wanted to make sure my baby was safe. Murray said she is touched by the community's help. Her family will continue to need the community support. My big concern is that she's okay and baby Joe is doing all right. And previous said again, I just like to thank the community. Listen, I got a phone call all, all the way from India. It's crazy, said Murray. She also she also said in a strange experience to suddenly find herself in a public eye. It was so funny. I was in a hospital and it was soon I had I had him. I walked to the nursery. I was just being funny and I said, little man, you got to make mommy famous. Come on now. She said next morning. I'm on channel seven. Through it all, Murray says she's certain this is a life challenge and she will be able to take on. You don't know what life hands at you. It's always frightening. Pregnant labor. She said that's something that's always scary for a woman to feel like your baby in danger. Because tragic situation, that's a whole a traumatic level. So of course, you know, I'm and like I said, I'm gonna play this video. And I'm going to give you finishing the rest of my commentary on how I feel about the situation. Here it is. This is 7 News at 6. Now at 6. A woman who was kicked into early labor is out of the hospital. And reliving a terrifying confrontation with a cop. To feel like your baby's in danger because of a tragic situation. That's a whole nother traumatic level in itself. Tonight, she's talking to just one station. Hello and welcome everyone. The officer fired from the force following the alarming attack. Now this new mother is appearing on camera for the first time to tell her story. 7 News reporter Rosh Lowe is live for us on Miami Beach tonight. Rosh. So tonight for the first time we are seeing video and we're seeing this little beautiful baby boy named Joseph in person. What a story he has to tell. He came into this world a bit early. His mom was in a lot of pain. In fact, Miami Beach police say she was kicked in the stomach by an off-duty cop. Six pounds, four ounces. Ebony Murray Predilis is grateful. I'm grateful because he's a blessing. I'm grateful because he's okay. Blessed to have her baby boy after cops say at eight months pregnant, she was kicked in the stomach last week by an off-duty North Miami Beach police officer who has since been terminated from her department. Anything could have happened. It could have went, could have went in a bad situation, but thank God it did. And I'm just very happy. Last Wednesday night, Ebony was walking with her boyfriend when she crossed paths with Amber Pacheco. Just looking at him. 
What if I didn't have them? Then what? Situations would have been different. What happened next is not clear, but Ebony was left in pain and Pacheco was arrested. That's what I'm trying to wait for the Miami Beach Police Department to figure out for me. I wish I was a mind reader, but I'm not. Ebony started to go into labor weeks before her due date of August the 4th and prematurely delivered yes. baby Joe. Pain? It wasn't really... It was shock. I really didn't have no understanding of anything. I just wanted to make sure my baby was safe. Ebony is touched by the community's help, and this family will continue to need the community support. My big concern is that she's okay and baby Joe is doing all right. And again, I just like to um, thank the community. Ebony, there's been a lot of people who have reached out to you, right, who have seen this story. Listen, I've gotten phone calls all the way from Indiana. It's crazy. <laughs> and it was so funny. I was in the hospital, and as soon as I had him, I walked to the nursery, and I was just being funny. And I said, hey, little man, you got to make mommy famous. Come on now. And the next morning, I'm on Channel 7. It was crazy. You don't, you don't know what life hands at you. It's always frightening. Pregnancy, labor, that's something that it's always a scary thing for a woman. But to feel like your baby's in danger because of a tragic situation, that's a whole nother traumatic level. It's another level of anguish. But here is Ebony, baby, and there is a sense of gratitude that they are both here. They are absolutely blessed, this family. We mentioned there in the story they are going to need some help. In the meantime, this now former officer is facing a serious charge, battery on a pregnant victim, and Emily and her family, as you saw, back at home and enjoying every single day. We're live on Miami Beach, Ross Schlo, 7 News. Okay, fam, there you have it. Uh, I'm glad that the woman and the baby's okay. Um, and I'm also glad that the woman who who kicked her, the form, uh, officer, as also not only was fired, but she was charged with battery. Um, he, the baby could have died. She would have. I mean, she would have had. A, she was miscarriage if it wasn't for for that incident. But I'm glad. At the end of the day, positive things happen. Um, the baby's okay, as you see. The mother's okay, and it could have been worse. The officer would have would have really would have hurt that hurt that little boy, little boy, the baby boy. It would have been a whole lot worse. But uh, uh, but at the end of the day, everything is okay. You know, there's no more damage in, with the baby and everything. So it's like a healthy baby boy. So the, the my point is is that you know whether you're a cop or you know, or, or really, whether you're a cop or you, can, you cannot be above the law and think you can assault a person, especially if you kick a, a baby that's inside a woman's stomach. You, you just can't do that. And like I said, I'm glad that justice at that time has been served for, for the mother and that little baby boy that's been born. So I'm glad for both parents doing fine and I hope that hope that the baby will continue doing fine and continue hopefully that I mean you know the, the I hope that the officer in this case um will finally get I mean will finally get what she deserved and that's hopefully the rest of her hopefully the rest of her life in prison but knowing that she was a former officer I don't know if that's going to happen they are probably going to probably serve in like 4 or 5 years in prison and that's basically it well, leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video. Share this story. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my reaction channel. And subscribe to my Black Junction channel for all the news and commentary. With that being said, this is Lions Den Stein and all. Deuces.